My name is Vic Singh. I work on Yahoo Box. Growing up was fun. It wasn't as maybe technically oriented as some people think. I never really thought I'd go into technology. So when I was young, I was always into technology, but not in a good way. I was usually the one breaking it uh, in our house. So my dad would buy computers and I would just put it apart. And uh, I would take all the different pieces out of it. And I was concerned that if you touch the pieces, it would break it, like if you take the hard drive out or something. So I would just dis dis uh, disassemble these machines and then put the pieces in Ziploc bags and then just leave it in the family room and then my parents would come back and just flip out because no one knew how to put it back together. In high school, I was more into maybe the liberal arts side. I was a policy debater in high school. Uh, I did pretty well and I had a scholarship for college and I was going to do kind of the whole uh, debate, pre-law, maybe go end up and become a lawyer. And uh, when I entered college, I, I decided to take a class for fun. I was already in the major for, for um, the engineering side. So uh, I took a class and I loved it and I just went into it. So BOSS started maybe last December uh, when I was in research before and I always had this idea for open search and it's not really a new idea uh, at Yahoo. It's, it's, people have been talking about it. This, the details is what determines what open search is. Uh, we pitched it to the management the idea of open search and they approved it and since then we've been working on Yahoo Boss. You want to open it up so that uh, other people can take advantage of that technology and build their own search product. The, the goal has to be to fragment the market and create lots of search players and lots of innovation. And so you know I was always thinking about you know how you do it and I had a kind of a simple three-pronged approach to, to doing it. Uh, one day I just made a pitch to uh, management, search management and uh, they approved it and literally a couple weeks later, uh, we had a team and we were just you know, full-fledged uh, on you know, trying to build it. I worked mostly on the design of the API, uh, the interfaces, uh, trying to make it simple, uh, trying to make it uh, standards compliance. Uh, so there's this whole uh, YAS effort inside Yahoo and, and they're doing a good job trying to standardize all our different interfaces and all the different services uh, across Yahoo to make it easier for it to interoperate with one another. And so I wanted to make sure Boss followed the same guidelines. And so, um, so we, we kind of piggybacked on top of their uh, you know, work. And we also took some of the stuff that we did previously in search and we tried to combine all that stuff together and we released it pretty quickly. Um, and it's been doing pretty well so far. We reported uh, a couple months ago, it was doing 10 million queries per day. Uh, it's grown. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty massive in terms of the usage and the number of users and developers seem to be pretty happy with the technology. And so we're really excited and we're doing whatever we can to expose more features and more knobs uh, and, and, and more ways of, of developers to be able to do more things with, with search. For developers who want uh, help with BOSS, uh, a good place to start is to, to join the Why Search BOSS group, uh, which is our Yahoo group where we answer questions. And we also, we describe new things that we're going to come out with. We sometimes run polls to ask people about features, you know, what feature do you want to see in BOSS? Uh, we, we spend quite a bit of time on it, and uh, there's a lot of good information there. People also post their code to the, to the group, so if you're a PHP developer and you don't want to write in Python, someone has posted PHP code there so you could use it. If you're a JavaScript developer and so forth, uh, people also post their examples there. So if you, if you build your idea, it's a good place to post it and get some distribution, get some people to see it, get some feedback. Um, so let's start there. Another thing I would look at is uh, to go to the delicious page, uh, search for boss or uh, boss mashup, one word, and that will give you all the you know, different you know, services and tools that developers has, have developed on top of boss. Uh, so we've asked people that if you build a boss application, use delicious uh, to bookmark it, so that way people, other people can find it. And so there's actually quite a growing list uh, there and it's a really good place for inspiration and just to kind of find other applications and also to kind of get distribution for your own application. Um, another thing is to play around maybe with the Boss Mashup framework. Uh, it's an experimental library that we released. Uh, it's, it's a Python library, uh, but it basically lets you do kind of SQL style operations with uh, data sources. So it makes it really easy to do mashups across different types of services. So if you want to take Twitter and you want to take Boss and you want to combine it like how we did in Tweet News, um, 
it's, it's much easier to use something like mash, the mashup framework because by using SQL kind of constructs, you can, a developer can get away with you know, declarative style code where they say, this is what I want, as opposed to, this is how you do it. You do this loop and you run around it and stuff like that. You don't have to describe the logic behind how it's done. And I think that's a really powerful um, uh, device for developers to use. And it's becoming increasingly useful and increasingly important and increasingly widespread um, in the web community. So I think a mashup framework might be a good place to start there and play around and figure out how to, how to use BOSS and, and do experiments. There's, I think there's two fundamental differences uh, uh, with BOSS compared to the other APIs. One is the terms of service, so, which is the thing that we think is really, really important, um, which is you could you call our search API, you could call BOSS, you get results back, and you can do whatever you want with the results, essentially. You can reorder the results, you could re-rank the results, uh, you could change the presentation of the results, you can put your own logo on it. You don't have to put a Yahoo logo on it. That's, a really, that's really powerful for developers because developers are trying to do mashups. And how do you do a mashup if you can't manipulate the data? And uh, these other APIs, they all have kind of terms of service around them, which says that you can't do any of those. Um, and it's mainly to protect themselves, right? Because if you have a search product and it's making you millions of dollars every quarter, uh, and you give it away and someone else just steals the results and puts it on their page, you're essentially giving away IP. And I think those traditional constraints are still there with many of the APIs. And we just don't see those as constraints. We see those as opportunities. If we open those up uh, and let developers do what they want, then we could create lots of players in search and, and fragment the market, which is what the market needs. They need lots more innovation. And we think that benefits everybody, including the users and us. And so that's the one fundamental difference. The second um, is we believe the usage and the design of the API is very clean. We think the support that we're providing for the for the APIs has been pretty good. You know, we're moderating the group uh, pretty actively, so we're providing documentation support. Um, we're helping developers individually sometimes to get their examples up and running. Uh, we uh, uh, we're providing other types of libraries like the mashup framework to be able to utilize uh, Boss more effectively. So I think uh, those two. Uh, those two areas are, I think, where we differ in a good way. And I think uh, it's, it's created a great developer following. If you go to our group right now, we have, I think, over 600 developers who, who are on the group alone. And these are people who are pretty active. So I think we've done a pretty good job working with developers. And, uh, and I, think, you know, I think that's why people are liking Boss. I think people like the freedom of it and, and the support for it.